Human health is a complex puzzle with thousands of pieces representing infections, relationships with our family and community, the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food we eat. This also includes our genes. They interact with all the environmental factors we experience over time. With only the genetic pieces, we can miss the whole picture. The exposome represents all the non-genetic pieces of this puzzle, but the pieces fit differently over time. What scientists call the exposome can complete this puzzle. The exposome is the totality of environmental exposures over the course of our lives tied to understanding the effects on our bodies as we go through life. We have finally begun to take the steps towards being able to more comprehensively measure environmental exposures, and we are poised to multiply this progress exponentially. The mission of the Institute for Exposomic Research here at Mount Sinai is to really use the emerging technologies to be able to measure the environment on a scale that really can accelerate our ability to understand the root causes of disease. It brings together not just genetics, but also the environmental piece and also this framework of understanding across the life course, starting in pregnancy in the womb all the way to old age. In the last 20 years, medicine has made a huge investment in understanding the genome and how our genes impact human health. What we haven't done and what we haven't really figured out is how environment impacts human health. And everyone knows just intuitively that environment affects your health. What you, everybody watches what they eat, they think about whether or not they're going to exercise, they worry about chemicals that they may be ingesting or chemicals that they may be spraying on their body when they uh, use perfumes. All those things clearly impact our health and they interact with our genome. So in fact, if we're going to understand our genome, we have to actually understand understand our exposome because the two things interact. The Lautenberg Lab of Environmental Health Sciences is a core component of the Institute for Exposomic Research. Uh, we generate a lot of the data that the leadership of the Institute will use to make their decisions and hopefully impact clinical research as well as policy. We hope to not just impact clinical practice where you treat people one at a time but also impact policy where you can impact entire populations but providing insight into emerging chemicals, for example, and various trends that we see over time in the use of different chemicals and different products. Better regulation through policy can protect the environment through prevention and even stop exposure before it happens. So our approaches use kind of cutting edge computer technologies. We deal obviously with a lot of big data, machine learning, geostatistics, and it's all uh, computationally intensive. We have infrastructure that's very uh, advanced in order to run efficiently these models, which can be at a global scale at times. When we do these environmental epidemiology studies, we want to assess correctly what people are exposed to, whether it's air pollution, temperature, and other built environment exposures. I think what we contribute is minimizing this exposure misclassification or exposure bias by being able to uh, a precise and robustly reconstruct exposure assessments to large populations, we can really help these larger epidemiological studies uh, create more robust models that incorporate very precise exposure assessment. The real power of exposomics is another framing of needing to understand from the very roots of these chronic diseases that we're all um, struggling with. And that takes us back to the womb, and then we have to understand all the way through the life course to adulthood, middle adulthood, old age, and death. And what we want to do is create science and knowledge that will help us actually prevent at the very earliest stages and then use exposomics as well when they already have disease to put them on a better, more optimal track. The Human Genome Project has been completed for about 20 years, and we have an amazing understanding of how the genome works. There are still millions of environmental factors that we haven't discovered yet that are clearly affecting our health. If we approach environment the way we approach the genome, if we make that kind of investment in being able to measure our environment and link it to human health, I think in the next 10 to 15 years, we're going to understand environment the way we understand the genome. And we can bring those two things together and we can have a much greater understanding of one, why people get sick and why some people respond to a given treatment and some people don't. Environment plays a role in all of those. The genomics also plays a role in them, but if we only look at genomics, we're really not gonna see the whole picture.